Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from Model Mentor, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to map your MIDI controller or controller to QB7. So the first thing to do is to go into Devices, Device Setup. Now you will see this window here, and let's go into Remote Devices, and basically you have to plus here. Click on that, and if your MIDI controller or controller is listed right here, you can just click on the correct brand or model, and you're good to go. But if it's not listed here, you've got to click on Generate Remote. Alright, and this window pops up. Now this is where you're going to map your MIDI controller and tell you know, what function it does. So basically, um, you've got to make sure that your MIDI inputs up here has to be from your MIDI controller or controller. Now, if you've seen, uh, my setup is based on the Graphite 25, which is plugged in directly to the computer via USB. So it's here. Alright, and basically I'll leave MIDI outputs left not connected that's fine so now basically the first thing you have to do is to change the name here so i'm going to change this to let's say rewind and this to forward now i do have these buttons on the graphite 25 yeah forward stop play and let's say record okay so i'm going to there's a lot of other other faders and also pads and all that but let's leave that on for right now you're going to do this five here first okay so rewind next thing to do is to click on learn just leave that those all those things left there for now click on learn and basically press the rewind button on your midi controller and you can see that the address changes according to what i've pressed now continue to the next one forward and go to stop press play and i'm going to hit the midi controller all right you can see that it changes and record Okay, so as long as you keep the learn checkbox tick, it's going to continue learning for each, you know, everything that you press on your MIDI controller. So be careful with that. All right, so I'm going to click learn. And basically, we have learned all the control names and also, you know, what it does. So now, now next thing to do is to come down to the second column right here and, you know, look for that control name that you have to change. Now, if you change this to revive here, it should show that it's changed also. Okay, so the device here, let's choose transport because Revine is under transport, right? So after transport, category device, okay, and what it does, Revine, of course. Okay, so the same for the rest, let's say forward is under transport and device and then forward. Okay, I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. Stop is also under transport device let me just do this quickly stop let's find stop there stop is there okay play also under transport i'm going to choose device and play let's see find play okay play is called start here um, record okay under transport devices and let's look for record there you go okay so for example let's say we have you know um another like let's say a pen a pen pot, right? I'm gonna call this pen one because I do have a few pens on the MIDI controller. Let's change this and learn this. Okay, so it's just gonna twist the pen around, and there you go. It's changed. The address has changed. So now, if I you know just wiggle this a bit and refresh these words, you can see that pen one appears here. Now we can choose pen one instead of transport. Let's go to mixer and choose selected instead. Now what it means by selected it means that uh, whichever track you select it selected will be affected so selected and whichever track which is selected shall be penned okay let's see we have a pen left and right so right now it says uh, for pen one in the mixer whichever channel is selected in will be you know mapped to a pen okay so apply all that so I apply all my controls here in the pen and click on ok so now when I click on rewind it should rewind as stop and then play and then record okay now it's not recording because I do not have a track but let's say I have a track right now and I start to twist on my pen you can see that the pen port should be you know twisting there it works as <laughs> okay so that's how it works that's, and that's how you map your MIDI controller and also your you know controllers whichever to QB7 now I already have a the one thing great about this uh, Cubase is that you can also export your settings out so you don't have to you know to 
you know, resave this and reset this every time something goes wrong. So I've already exported Samsung, Samsung Graphite 25 up here. So all you need to do is just, you know, click on import and basically import Samsung Graphite 25 and everything is changed and mapped correctly. Okay. Now I've leave this, uh, I'll leave the XML file in a download section. All you need to do is just <laughs> subscribe and also join the newsletter in Audimento. Just joking, yeah. Um, I've left I've left it in the post. So basically, if you want it, you can just go to the post and download it and use it for Qubit Seven. Okay. Of course, please do subscribe and also sign up for the newsletter. I'll see you next video.